My name is Michael Sigsby. Uh, I grew up over in Fort Washington, Maryland, have been attending Emmanuel Bible Church my entire life. In 2016, the Saturday after Thanksgiving, I was working at Chick-fil-A as a manager and getting ready to close the entire night down. I was counting down all of our drawers when I felt a shove on my right shoulder and there was a guy standing there fully covered with a gun in his hand uh, yelling at me to get all the money ready. I just felt fear and concern over the 15 other people that were in the store at the time and how my actions could influence all of their lives. And I just remember walking in and breaking down. A paranoia grew uh, to the point where uh, every place, if it was unfamiliar, was uncomfortable, even my own home. One night I came home and I saw the garage door was open. Fear hit me. Realizing over the time that followed, the many months and years, that what happened and what continued to form was a lack of trust in God's sovereignty. There were many other things that happened around that time as well. Relationships that failed, car that failed. If God is truly in control, then why are these things happening? I remembered my mom coming up to me and just saying, Michael, something's not right. And she encouraged me to start taking counseling courses with the church. Over the course of time, we, we not only talked about the event itself, but we really focused a lot more on the different experiential moments where he was aware that he was questioning security and the way in which he was questioning security, and then how in each of those moments um, he might respond differently and how he could incorporate not just God's Word, but his experience of God's Word and, and just making that very real and practical in his life. It's interesting to think of Scripture as weapons, but um, Ephesians 6 talks about uh, being prepared and putting on the full armor, and so we do think of it, at least I think of it, as being prepared to do battle. And the battle is usually an internal one. It's our reaction to things, it's our understanding of things. And so for Michael, there were a couple of uh, verses that I think were really important, and one of them was Philippians 4, uh, 5, 6, and 7. Let your graciousness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Don't worry about anything, but in everything through prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. That's our aspiration. That's how we want to be. But yet there are times when life trips us up and there are times when you know, we do find ourselves scared. We do find ourselves frightened. We don't want to be stuck there. Through prayer and supplication, we then sense His presence, and that helps us go through whatever those trials and tribulations are. So that, that is part of our, our strategy, if you will. That, that's, that's the weapon that, that we go to. And I remember what was huge during that time frame was the realization that the Lord is near. That no matter how lonely or terrified or fearful I felt, God knew my situation and God was still sovereign over my situation and more than that that this peace that I have through God which surpasses all understanding which is just so hard uh, for anyone outside of faith to comprehend that was what guards our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus that's what gives us the power to uh, not be in fear of sin or in fear of death. Gardening teaches you a lot about being humble and being attentive and um, I think being intentional as well. And when I say intentional, I mean remembering that God has given us all a purpose, that, that we are not here by accident, we have gifts and talents, and uh, the people that you're working with have gifts and talents. And, you want to address not only the, the, the things that are getting in their way, you also want to be able to uh, recognize those talents and encourage those for ministry. And uh, to see how that might be um, played out in the life of the church. 
the course of counseling, there is uh, God working, and I get to sit across the room and watch how God changes people week after week. And we have an IBC counseling training that lasts 25 weeks that will develop you both in your practical theology and your knowledge of counseling topics. And then we also have a one-hour practical lab every week where you have skilled counseling coaches who give you feedback and help you develop the uh, the conversational skills that you can be a more effective minister of the gospel in your context. Oftentimes God doesn't just stop by uh, restoring people, but then he turns to use them. And those same men and women who uh, come for counseling oftentimes are the most effective counselors one day. So I think it will make you a more effective minister of the gospel in your ABF, with your neighbor, in your Bible study. I think when men and women ask you that, you will have a very uh, skillful response that is full of wisdom, grace, and truth. Would you join us this fall? We start on September 14th, and we would love to have you.